Toy, we are joined in the kitchen by Brandon Kane, and Kane is able, <laughs> Bible <laughs> reference, uh, to make you some delicious bologna sandwiches, but not just any fried bologna sandwich. This actually has a, a name for it, right? Yeah, it's called the Ruiz. It's, uh, it's named after a guy named Carl Ruiz that is a friend of the uh, Fox Brother Barbecue guys in Atlanta. Gotcha. And so this is a limited item on the menu at Saul's Barbecue, which now has two locations, one in, uh, now they got the one in Hoover. All right, so yeah. you're starting with the skillet and the bread, and this is actually an important step, right? Yeah, very much so. So the whole key to this is not too high, not too hot. You want to let it slowly come up. So we're trying to build that crust on the bread. Okay. Um, there is a debate. Do you put the butter in the pan? Do you put the butter on the bread? Mm -hmm. I personally put it on the bread because I think it disperses better and it gives you a little bit better char. Plus, right. butter soaked bread is just kind of good. Yeah, I like that. All right, so that's going to take a while to go. Now, yeah, we'll toast you up. don't just use, you know, you don't go to the grocery store and just buy that kind of bologna. Now, there's anything wrong if you want to do that at home, but uh, no. that's different right there. Yeah, so what we did is we, we buy a chub, which, you know, if you're not familiar to where to go, you can go to Restaurant Depot. They have these. Uh, it's just a long bologna slip. We mm -hmm. slice it, put our rub on it, and then we smoke it for about three hours. Let it cool. Next day, slice it up. And then the important part is, you got to kind of let the meat come to room temperature before you cook it because we're cooking it, we're cutting it thick mm -hmm. and you don't want that cold kind of feel in the middle. Sure. So we're going to let it bring up the temp, which is where we're at now. As soon as the bread's done, we'll start searing it and you want to get that good crust on there. So you get a good well, texture. And I will say some folks out there who are getting ready to do some tailgating soon on those, uh, well, the high school games as well yeah. as the college football games. Uh, this is a way to step it up a notch right there. Uh, so we can see now how that uh, bread's kind of really getting brown when you want it. Brown uh, up I hope we got the stove setting where you want it too. Um, and the last time we did a segment on fried bologna, um, you know, people, some people like there's chard. Mm -hmm. And I do too. Definitely. <laughs> it's just something about Definitely. that chard Definitely. flavor, right? Yeah, for us, you know, we use a flat top. Most people obviously don't have flat tops in their house. So to me, the southern staple is a beautiful cast iron skillet, right? right. So right. To me, getting that nice and hot with your fat in there will give it that good char. And again, you're looking for texture. Sure. Because you, know, you don't want that mushy feel of bologna sometimes. You want that crunch. And with the bite of what we have with it being thicker, really, really makes that texture come across. All right. So, yeah, you put some butter on there. You flip that over. Yes, sir. And, uh, and we, they may or may not be done exactly like you want them. But for just for time purposes, we may go ahead and get them in there and get some bologna, bologna, bologna in here. It's, a, it's spelled bologna, but we say bologna. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. All right. And just so you know, there's the finished product over there. We'll show you that in a bit. Um, and we're going to show you some what he puts on the topping there. Uh, there's nothing fancy here, though. I will say with the thicker pieces, uh, unlike the ones you get at the grocery store, you know, the, the, you know yeah. how the bubble comes up there? And <laughs> the, you know how they kind of like flip up on you? Yeah. Uh, it's really, really crazy. No, I mean, and that's the beauty of this type of bologna, being able to cut it thick. Personally, I could go a little bit thicker mm -hmm. for me, uh, just because I really like that crispy char. Some people say burn, I say char on there. It makes it a little bit better, I think. Sure. Um, and, and, and it's unbelievable the difference between what you see in the store and to this, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's just a much higher product and that, that thickness cut of it gives it a really good bite so it's not kind of floppy everywhere. And you can cut, if you, if you do get a thin piece, you can cut those little slits in the middle so they don't bubble 100%. Up, if you don't like that. And you can always stack them, right? Like, Absolutely. I mean, if you could put four or five pieces in there if you chart them up nice and layer them up. So. All right, real quickly, uh, as those uh, cook, uh, you add it on top of that, the different, I guess you can get whatever you want topped on it, but this one comes with what? Yeah, so the, uh, actually we, it's the only way it comes. It's we don't really okay. do any other toppings on it. Because that's the name of the Exactly, it's the Ruiz. Ruiz. Yes, yeah. so what we do is we take our house-made pimento cheese. Uh, we make a spicy barbecue mustard, which is our barbecue sauce and a spicy mustard. A few other ingredients. Mm -hmm. Top that on there, and then we finish with some Fritos, which are just amazing, right? Mm. So you get that good crunch, bite, ooey-gooey goodness of the cheese, and it just becomes such an amazing sandwich. All right, so I know some people watch it like, Mike, I've done bologna sandwiches. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, we get that. But again, this is just a way to step it up a notch, and I can see where you can also slice these up, make some sliders out of it if you wanted to Definitely. Uh, for tailgating, and it would be a great, easy way, and a really an expensive way mm -hmm. to make some tailgates. It totally is. Yeah. Totally is. I mean, you can go buy the chub for really relatively inexpensive, and you're going to get, out of a whole chub, probably 30 pieces of bologna in that uh -huh. cut size. Uh, but mm -hmm. you don't want to do any of that. Yeah. Just come down to Saul's Barbecue. Go. We got these things all, all summer long and into the fall. And Brandon Kane does it like a chef does it, so we love that. All right, <laughs> hey, we'll tell you where to get the recipe later, just in case you missed some of the segment. Uh, that'll be on the WBRC News app, as well as our website. But we're going to finish uh, charring some of these up. Definitely. Because I see some people running into the kitchen. <laughs> 
So the really cool part is, is here in a minute, you're starting to see that char, right? And we're going to flip it again. Okay. And then we're going to cap it with pimento cheese and show you a little technique to melt that pimento cheese. All right, stick around. Yeah, a little, little sneaky technique that we do in restaurants to melt the cheese. A little bit of water. Tap it. Huh. Count to ah. 20. Steam. Pop it off and it's good to go. The tricky part is taking it out, right? So, yeah, that's about to say. But I'm a trained professional. You are indeed. Look so at you that. You want to push it away so all that steam flows out. Huh. Flip it back. You get a nice little melt oh, there. Oh, yeah, I like yeah. that. <laughs> hey, hey. you learn little tricks from a chef. Now, what would a Friday be without Mickey trying?